I'm Gail C, Director of Teaching and Learning here at ASD, and I have the pleasure today to have um, Lauren Schoenberg with me. Lauren is the Director of the National Jazz Museum in Harlem, so it's not every day we have a Lauren here with us. So Lauren, um, could you talk to us a bit first of all about the museum mm -hmm. and, and your role in that to start with, and then we'll yeah. talk about some other things. Well, the National Jazz Museum, as you mentioned, it's in Harlem. And the reason we chose Harlem is because really more than any other city in the United States, Harlem has been the longest standing home of jazz. I mean, right. it started in New Orleans and went to other places, wound up in Harlem. Mm -hmm. And in 2001, we opened up a small little uh, office in Harlem and started to build this jazz museum idea. Uh, in 2004, we started doing public programming. Mm -hmm. And in 2008, uh, we really kind of started branching out with full-time right. programs and interviews right. and all kinds of things. Uh, we moved to a new location just about two years ago, mm -hmm. and that's it. Uh, I have two co-directors. The artistic co-directors right. are the bassist Christian McBride yes. and the pianist John Batiste. Yes, who people and might know from... Um, the Stephen Colbert Stephen Show. Stephen Colbert, yes. Right, yeah. and Christian McBride, Grammy Award winning, yes. great musician and yes. director of the Newport Jazz Festival, among other things. Mm -hmm. And so we have a great team. Uh, administrative staff and those of us that work with programming uh, and most people like jazz even though they don't know it okay because jazz is so much a part of the way that we all hear music that uh, it's almost like the air we all breathe air but we don't think about air mm -hmm. and jazz is kind of like that in music it's pretty much in every culture right and so that's a great segue into what the question I want to ask you so this video will go to our students, mm -hmm. our parents, our teachers, so mm -hmm. really our community. So who should we be listening to today? We've had the opportunity of having some wonderful jazz musicians come here, work with our students, play for our community, mm -hmm. people yeah. like Dominic Farron, yeah. yes. Richard Johnson, Gregory Jenner, Sherelle Cassidy. So yeah. who should we be listening to? Who should our students, our young students, who should they be listening to? Oh, that's a, that's a hard question. Um, I would probably start with um, the father of jazz, and that's Louis Armstrong. Yeah. And you can't go wrong with Louis Armstrong. Mm -hmm. uh, besides Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington mm -hmm. actually visited this part of the world mm -hmm. uh, back in the 1960s and wrote a piece of music called the Far East Suite. It's not the right oh, title okay. for the music from some of the countries, but it's called the Far East Suite. And I would recommend that record. Uh, I would listen to Wynton Marsalis. Yeah. But you already mentioned some people who are really great. Yes. Dominic Farinacci yes. uh, has a series of albums out, and he's done great work with taking the kind of music that you hear in this part of the world, in mm -hmm. this great country, mm -hmm. and integrating it into jazz music. So I know that's both, a place both to start. Dominic and Richard have both done music influenced by here. Um, that, that we've really loved. We also had Winton here at this in this very office. Winton uh, Marsalis was here? Yes, he was in this office. Well, that says something because <laughs> Winton is, you know, Winton's a very interesting figure. Everyone knows him as the, the great musician and the band leader and the this and the that. But he's somebody who 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 300 and I guess 52 weeks a year, for as long as I've known him, which is decades, Yeah. every day yeah. of his life, is doing jazz and education. If, and as you know, if he was here right now and some kid walked in with a trumpet, yeah. he'd say, come up to my room, I'm going right. to give you a trumpet lesson. Yeah. So he's an and amazing figure. And shoot hoops. Um, you know, it, it's been a pleasure having you here. And as we move into International Jazz Day, yes. is April 30th. Yes. And we're really lucky to have Lauren here and Mark yes. uh, uh, and Jim have been talking about looking yes. at some partnerships that we can build with your museum. Well, in we Harlem. would love to do that. You know, we're a Smithsonian affiliate and mm -hmm. we do a lot of programming. And uh, frankly, as an educator, I've known about what Mark's been doing for a long time. And I've heard about this school and it's mm -hmm. so nice to finally see it. But we would love to find a way to collaborate and bring our message yeah. and to bring your message. In fact, yeah. some of your faculty uh, are going to be in New York and we're going to That's invite right. them to the museum yeah. in July. So. I hope to meet you all in person next time I'm here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Lawrence. Pleasure. Thank you. Mm -hmm.